tutorial on the TCAN Infinite M200 uh, plate reader. So first off, there's a toggle switch on the back here. Just coming up uh, left-right toggle switch for the on-off right above the, where the power cord is. Uh, it's a green light there, so we're already turned on. And this particular instrument can use this uh, Magellan software. Uh, we also have a uh, eye control software that works in the event that Occasionally this Magellan software gives us issues, in which case the eye control, eye dash control software uh, will work. Sometimes this instrument uh, likes to make us uh, find the port, uh, but we can see it's already set to select the infinite series um, and then find any stacker and port options. Those usually find the instrument as long as it's on. You just want to make sure it's on you, uh, before you open the software. Press OK, and then we found the instrument. And again, we see that M200. Press OK if you're selecting it. We'll go ahead and load up here. And it's not the fastest machine, so uh, loading software, that's why I already have this software loaded. Sometimes it can take a little bit of time, and then initializing the instrument can also sometimes uh, take a little bit of time. But you heard the instrument uh, kind of make a noise, okay. and open up the plate for us here, the plate holder. That means it's going, told us it's connected, and I'll say OK. Um, so you can either just kind of start and run a measurement if you already have an existing protocol set up. If you want to set one up, you can go here to create an edit method. If you need to open or close the plate tray here, that's this button. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, press the go forward button now that I'm starting to create edit method. And you can see it kind of defaults to giving us some existing options. So for the Biochemistry lab, teaching laboratory that we commonly use. We already have some preset ones here. Uh, so today I'm going to open this lab two uh, protocol just to kind of show you how this works. So I'm click the little green arrow. It's going to load. And now we've got a couple things going on here. Um, it's not really hard to set this up for yourself. Uh, this is just kind of a drag and drop software. So you can just literally grab these little options over here, like where do you want to measure? I want to measure the plate. You can drop it there see what type of plate. Uh, we always use these uh, uh, clear bottom um, Corning 96-12 plates. I'm going to right click on that and then press to paint because we've already got one kind of dragged over here. Um, and that's in this case we've actually got kind of a part of plate dragged over here. When you drag over the part of plate you're able to select the mouse which uh, which wells do you want to measure. So in this case we're, even though we're using part of plate we we'll go ahead and measure the whole plate. And then uh, you can drag and drop over absorbance fluorescence, whatever you want to do, and just scan across all the absorbance values, or if you just want to take a single absorbance value, again, you just kind of drag and drop that. We've already got one dropped over here. And then you just type in the wavelength of the absorbance that you want to measure. I typically just leave these uh, kind of flashes and settle time to the default settings. It seems to work well. I played with these parameters, haven't seen a, uh, much of a change in the, the, the read values when I've done that. I like to give this a little label, it comes defaulted with, with no label, so I just usually put A for absorbance and then the wavelengths that we measure and we'll uh, typically kind of append that value to the, the date that it gets spit out. And again, this top setting is just these Corning 9612 flat bottom plates. Uh, there's a bunch of different types you could select, uh, but we've got that core 96FW set here. Um, if you wanted to, you could change temperature, have the plate shake, there's some other kind of advanced settings here interested in those but for today I'm just kind of showing the, the very basics so now we'll just kind of come over here and now we've got the part of the plate we're selected what wavelength we want to select so we can just go ahead and click next um, it gives us kind of this additional screen here um, and I just what I typically do is I just select all of them and fill that selection with SM for standing for sample uh, if you wanted to you could go and define which samples are your blanks and that sort of stuff but I typically just uh, do everything post-processing rather than input stuff in this kind of clunky software I'll just have it spit me out all the raw data and then do my analysis in Excel um, and along the lines of analysis uh, here options there are the sort of data export options and this is a, a little bit clunky here um, but as long as it's kind of splitting out the raw data I like to have it spit out the raw the well positions as well um, just again, this is just kind of drag and drop, but I just like to have it show me the well positions to make sure that I've 
seeing the data in the way that I think I'm seeing the data and then just have it spit out the raw data. Um, and that's what it'll do when it exports. And so it's, it might be important to check that occasionally. Um, and the rest of the options here, I typically kind of leave default. Um, and we can just go to next. And then it'll ask you to save the protocol if you've made any changes. Um, and just click save. Now it's asking us to save the file. Uh, this is, uh, we'll just save kind of an internal file for this software. I usually just leave this default. And once you do that, you press go now. It's pulled in the plate. I guess I didn't put the plate in there, but um, when you put a plate in there, you just set it down with A1 in the top left, and it just kind of uh, it sits in there. Pretty straightforward. And now it goes through and takes all those reads. And when it's done, I'm just going to break it so I don't have to read them all. There's this stop button up here. So you can see it kind of snakes uh, back and forth. So it actually moves the plate, it takes readings in each well, and then kind of moves back this way. And then show you the data in real time as the, the data is coming out. Uh, I just click abort. It'll finish up here. Yes, I canceled it. it. Should still spit out the data for me. It'll kind of automatically export it into Excel. There we go. I see Excel is opening. Uh, here's the software at the end. Um, but you can see at the bottom there, if I click on Excel, here's our data. And here's where it's showing me as the well format. So again, you can you can play with that where it has uh, kind of A1, A2 vertical instead of in kind of the actual showing you the, the way it's spitting out the data right now is actually kind of how the plate looks. Um, and then so here is the kind of corresponding data that this is. Uh, this one here is A1, this one here is A2, and so on. And that's basically it. Uh, at this point, we typically just want to kind of finish up, so I'm going to click Next. Um, this is again saving that file that the internal file that we've been working with, obviously you would want to save your Excel file and uh, go with that. There's the software being clunky. Um, but that, that's it. And this is saving the internal file. Just go ahead and save it. And maybe now we're done, we want to measure another plate, and we can click this little open plate button. And once you've got a protocol set up to your liking, instead of going through that edit method, you could just click start measurement, uh, go forward, in here. Start measurement. Now you just select it and you don't have to mess with any of those options. Go. Go. And now it's measuring based on the last options that we set.